Let's bring in Robert Boyce. He's the former NYPD chief of detectives, and he's with us often in these cases. Bob, thanks for being with us again. Thanks, Terry. Thanks and, for having me. And, and let me just ask you the, the question, one of the questions that came up. In, in the testimony of Kim Potter on the witness stand today, as she told her version of the story, what she says was an innocent mistake, the way she was cross-examined primarily by the prosecutor was to go after her training, uh, drawing out from a reluctant Kim Potter the facts that she was trained specifically on how not to draw the wrong weapon. She was trained specifically on how to deploy her taser, how to take care of it, uh, all things which the prosecution says failed. I I in a sense, it, it struck me, this case does get down to to training and how the jury feels about Kim Potter's obligations to follow it. Well, I think that's it, Terry, but there's three things here that I say. Training, of course. I, I always feel that training should not just be happening one a year, once a year. It should be at least twice a year, perhaps even quarterly, especially with these life and death situations. The second is preparation. How did she prepare that day? Uh, and, and did she spark test it? Did she understand the, the, you know, the weapon itself, that she may have to use it? It's substantially lighter than a handgun. But still, this goes to the final point, the gravity of the incident. This was an arrest incident. This was not a felony in progress, no robbery progress stop in a car or something like that. This, this case kind of uh, exploded into an arrest situation that was handled this way. There's no question it was an accident. But what were her actions prior and of course, and was this the gravity of this incident enough to change her um, her ability to perceive actions where she has this weapons confusion? That's what the jury has to look at in this. Uh, she's a sympathetic figure. I, I said her own, her she this is a real change between Floyd and uh, and the Potter case, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Wright's case. In, in that case, and, and Floyd, the chief testified against Derek Chauvin. Mm -hmm. Her her chief comes in and testifies for Potter. Uh, and it goes on and on like that. Nonetheless, we've seen this happen in Oscar Grant in 2009 in Oakland, California. The police officer there was convicted of second degree manslaughter, involuntary manslaughter. So um, this has happened before. Fortunately, it rarely happens. And uh, again, the only way to get past these things is to uh, to increase training and to understand exactly you know, what you are, what you are in, in, in hyper situations. A couple of great points in there, Bob. I want to pick up uh, first on, on what I had not realized until you said it. Uh, one of the things that distinguishes this case of, of uh, the police uh, killing uh, a, a, a suspect is that in the Derek Chauvin trial, his, his chief, as you just said, testified against Chauvin. Chauvin was a, a bad apple in the police department. Clearly, many complaints against him. Kim Potter, in 26 years, not a single uh, complaint against her, her chief testifies for her, saying as far as he's concerned, she followed the law and policy. And that, that raises the question sometimes of this, uh, this thin blue line that, uh, that the police, when they come under prosecution, under investigation, will pull together. Is that what you see or are you seeing something different, just essentially vouching for her character? No, I, I don't see that. I think it's what the jury is going to perceive from her. Um, she's she in, in many respects is a sympathetic figure. This this her she has entire career not a problem. A, a credit to the community worked very hard, uh, and this happens at the end of it. She she resigns immediately thereafter, and and now and now she's on uh, on, on trial for her uh, for her freedom for the most part. Um, how bad was her conduct? Uh, she certainly doesn't appear that way. She, you know she this was a split second. Chauvin was was. Well, there was plenty of time for him to get off that, you know, take his take his knee off, Mr. Floyd. So th this is a split second thing. I think juries understand this, um, and I think they they see what happened here. Again, a young man is dead. He shouldn't be dead, you know. But this is this is something that rarely happens. But when it does, it has to be treated with the gravity it, that 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 should respect to this to the loss and, of life here. Um, and that that Terry, that leads me to the other question. This question of training, and I've heard you talk about this so much, Bob. About your, your sense that maybe there could be some kind of federal standard, federal support for local law enforcement for training. How realistic is that? I, I, I think the idea is very appealing. Do you feel that it has any momentum that we could get our police trained up to the standards uh, that would prevent incidents like this? It did, and it, did. it became a political football for the most part. Um, I believe that we can come together, you know, not the extremes, the people in the middle who, who actually want to get something going here to understand exactly 
uh, what's going, you know, and there's a whole plethora of things they should be talking about. You know, and, and, and of course, uh, police incidents is, is, is a big issue. Police firearm is, is a big issue. A lot of times with me mentally uh, disturbed persons. So there's a lot of things we can cover. It's going to take leadership, but I see a disparity across the nation, across the nation exactly how, um, how different agencies re respond to different things. All right. Well, let's, I guess that's one thing we can take out of this trial. Robert Boyce, thanks very much for being with us, as always, with that perspective. Thank you, Derek. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.